and we're going to bust through yep. all the small groups that are available for you. All right? <laughs> go. Here we go. Go. All right. This is uh, Jeff and Jenna Denblaker. And uh, as you can see here, they're in holiday, and it'll be on Sundays. Uh, Jeff and Jenna are just some of the sweetest people in the world. Man, if you want to be loved on, they will be a great group that you can consider. The next one is Frank and Laura Strickland. And Frank and Laura live right over here, r- real close, about half a mile away. And they're going to do a group called Growing Strong in God's Family. And uh, basically, this group, you guys, would be for anybody. If you're sitting there saying, man, I need to understand this Christian faith more and actually get my roots down deep, that, this would be a great group for you. The third one is uh, Wendy Shelton. Yep. Wendy's going to be downtown doing a group called, uh, with a book called Velvet Elvis. If you're somebody who doesn't like the traditional Christian thing and you like to think outside the box, this is your group. A fantastic book that will challenge your thinking on the whole Christian faith. All right. Okay, next group. Very nice. <laughs> Andrew, we finally got it. Andrew and Mary Lee Hackman are going to do a group called Front Porch Tales on the back patio. It's just a very casual, informal gathering at their house. going to be reading some stories, talking about values. Great thing for families to do together. Uh, next, Doug and Sue Babb. If you want people who are really truth in it, these are your guys. Dinner is very appealing. They're great cooks. Yeah, and great, it's gonna, cooks. great cooks. And it's going to be an awesome time just going through just the foundations of our faith, of the truth that we believe in. And they're going to be up on the north end of the valley. We don't have a lot of groups up there. This is a good one for you in the Leighton area. Next one, Mitch and Kara Manning. Uh, great hats. There they are. Aren't they cute? Yeah, don't let their outfits scare you away, yeah, okay? They're, really they're actually good okay. They're, so right they're, they're here in Sugar people. House. Um, Financial Peace University sounds like kind of a stuffy, oh, it's one of those money groups, but it's an awesome, awesome opportunity. Like Dave always says, you know, one of the biggest issues in relationships has to do with money, and if you want some, to experience some financial freedom, this is a great group for you. We have two of them. Yep, and the second one is Eric and Paula Winter, and so we'll have one both in the north and down in the south. And so, again, just really encourage you, if finances are things that are just taking the joy out of your life, you actually can do some miraculous things with that. John and Sally Gutman are going to be doing a group called Love and Respect. Um, I did a message on marriage a, a little while ago, and we actually had this book out in the, in the lobby. And, it, I mean, people bought it up before the second service was even over. We had to buy more books. Uh, this whole principle in this is fantastic. And if you, if, whether your marriage is great or if you're thinking about getting married or you just, you know right now, it's like, man, we could use some real help in our marriage. Uh, this book called Love and Respect that they're going to be going through is fantastic. And I also want to encourage you, too, that we have other people who are ready to lead more of these groups. So if you go out and sign up and the sheet gets filled up, just keep signing up because we have more people who are actually going to lead this. Because we know, you guys, in our culture, making your marriage last is hard. <laughs> And we want to do whatever we can to help you. All right? Sim Leslie. Um, Sim is unbelievable. Many times people at K2 will say, man, just how do I go deeper with God? I can tell you how to go deeper with God. That man right there. <laughs> Sim Leslie. I'm serious. He and his wife, Judy, who's also leading a group coming up here in a sec, they are phenomenal. If you are looking to get into the scriptures and understand God and to know how to do that, I mean, we should have 20 to 30 people in Sim and Judy's groups every week because they're just, they're just phenomenal. All right? So there we go. Good. All right. Next is Roots with... Brian and Beth Woodward, raise your hands. They're right back there in the flesh, right Sweet. there. This is for 18 to 24-year-olds. This is not a college group. It's just for 18 to 24-year-olds. No matter where you are in your spiritual journey, this is a great place to go and get connected on Sunday nights. Uh, next, for the man, we got Steve Bossy. Here's another one. Great thinker for those of you intellectual types. You want to get into that whole intellectual side of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. He's your man. Okay, so men seeking to know God on Friday morning. And he's not a convict. It's actually, okay, so it kind of looks like that. (laughs) We should have had him hold up. (laughs) Uh, Next, John and Mark, uh, John Russell and Mark Howe. Uh, great guys, again, fabulous dressers as well. But they're going to do a time together for men to be in the Word together and just be in relationships as brothers. Really a great opportunity for you guys. All right. Next is John Anderson. And uh, you guys, John, you know we've been working on this white building over here. John has poured his life. And we literally are like saving thousands and thousands of dollars just from this one man giving his life away. It's just unbelievable. But I just need to tell you, Friday night we ran this party with our membership and um, I just took John, and I just looked him in the face, and I said, dude, do you remember the first time you walked in here? John walked in here, man, his eyes were just so red shot, and he was one of those guys who was being tumbled in the waves through alcohol, which was completely dominating his life and, uh, and destroying his marriage. His wife met with me in the, in the office before I ever met John and just said, I just don't know if I can keep this up. And now, to know John Anderson, <laughs> I mean, he is one of the most free, joyful, loving, just you just got to love this man. And, and this group that he leads is called Ascent. And it's for anyone who's struggling with drug or alcohol. 
And we just know that there's a lot of people here at K2 um, where that is something that's your issue. And if it's the thing that's helping you to blow the wind that's blowing you off your course or that's tumbling you around, um, I can't encourage you enough. This is a guy who will love you, who will encourage you, and who will support you, and who's experienced the victory uh, through Christ in this. So it's can awesome. I, can I say one thing? Yep. No one has signed up for this group. What? No, serious. No, I'm serious. No one has. And I think in part because of the anonymity issue. So don't let a sign-up keep you from at least taking the card so that you can call or contact John on your own or give it to a friend. I mean, this is really serious. Yeah. Okay? And we understand that it, people don't want their name on a list. That's fine. But at least grab, you can do it on the sly. Grab a card for a friend or for yourself. Okay? Awesome. That's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Judy Leslie. Again, she's Sim's wife and phenomenal. If you're a woman and you're looking to go deep, we're actually going to hit a lot of now women. So you guys, women, you rock. Man, you guys have so many uh, awesome small groups out there to grow in just Bible study. Uh, Judy's is uh, on Genesis. Laura Strickland and Sandy Mitchell are doing one on Romans. Cool. Then we got Amy King. Uh, Amy's here on the left. On the right, she's standing with a woman named Kay Warren. Kay's husband, Rick Warren, wrote a pretty famous book called Purpose Driven Life. Kay has written a book, maybe not as famous yet, but very dangerous book. If you want to know what it's like to really step out and have Jesus be the head in your life, this is a group for you. Right now, this is just a women's group. I think we're going to end up having men's groups and co-ed groups, so this is going to be awesome. Salt Lake Roasting Company, can't beat that. Um, next, Robin Gettings is going to be doing a study on the book of Daniel, the Old Testament book of Daniel. Then we have Chris Asplin doing a women's group uh, called Stepping Up. It's on the book of Psalms. Cool. Jessica Nelson, Nelson, that would be my last Nelson. name. Uh, Nelson uh, is doing one on a heart like his. It's a study of David uh, who had a heart after God. And then Penny Child and Kathy Kleppis are doing one called Stepping Up. It's from the book of Psalms. Uh, and here's my personal favorite, Troy and Trisha Shepard are doing Sunday Night Football, so, uh, which I did actually the first year. Just a chance on Sunday nights to hang out if you can watch the game and uh, to meet some people. So that would be an awesome opportunity. Cool. And this is Valerie Green. Valerie's on the left there, in case you can't see that picture very well. And she's, it says, Trek the Globe Without Leaving Home. It's basically a cross-culture club to meet uh, university students. We have 3,000 university students at the University of Utah who are internationals who want to connect with Americans. What a great opportunity to save your airfare and your jet lag and get to know people of a different culture right here in Salt Lake. And then we have the mommies, Mommy and Me. This is great. This group's actually really filling up. This is fun. So we have Melissa Little, Melissa Van Hooser. Just a time to come and unashamedly talk about your kids and encourage each other as moms and how to do it the way God wants us to do it. Cool. Uh, this last one is uh, called The Crash Course. And uh, here at K2, we do have membership at, at the church, and we call ourselves The Crash. And uh, The Crash, you have like a herd of uh, cattle or you have a flock of seagulls. A group of rhinoceroses called a crash. And the reason we chose that is because if you look at that beast, those guys can run 30 miles an hour. Now, if they ever ran into anything, that would be called impact. And that's the kind of church we want to be, a church that makes impact. But the other thing that's cool about rhinos is they can only see 30 feet in front of them, so they have no idea where they're going. And, uh, and that's what we know we are. We have no idea what the future holds. So what we do is you fix your eyes on Jesus, and then you run with reckless faith after him, and you let his stuff get done. So if you would be interested in joining the crash, which would mean what you're then saying is, you know what, I really want to make K2 my home. I want to commit my life and to live out my faith in this place. Uh, the crash course is on Wednesday nights, and all of us on the management team teach that so you get a chance to meet everybody on that staff and a chance to hear our hearts, and we would love to be able to hang out with you. And just let me make sure you understand, you do not have to be on the crash to be involved in anything here. You can serve here, come here, go on mission trips, be involved in everything that goes on here. You do not have to be a crash member. The only thing you have to do to be, uh, is lead. If, you're gonna be, if you want to lead things here, then we want to know that you've gone through the crash course and really understand the heart and soul of who we are. But that'll be on Wednesday night, starting October 1st. And the last thing is uh, here, Mr. Andy Marshall, uh, as our South guy. And we will have South small groups that are getting together, people just getting to know one another uh, as we consider uh, planting our first campus down in the south part of the valley. So there you go, you guys. Tons of stuff uh, and other uh, things that are available for you to start meeting some people and centering your life around yeah. Christ.